Just 15 minutes of listening to an iPod at a moderate level can damage your hearing for life. In fact, we put our hearing at risk several times a day, often without realizing it. Here's what you need to know to prevent hearing loss. I heard something. John Ritzinger is hearing things he hasn't heard in years. Uh, I heard a clock tick that I didn't know ticked. Uh, the car, the, the blinker blanks, and I had never, never heard that. John suffers from noise-induced hearing loss. Years of working in a factory, hunting, and going to loud concerts permanently damaged his hearing. There's nothing really visible uh, immediately. You can have some warning signs. You can have uh, ringing in your ears after an exposure to noise. You can think can sound muffled. Many of us don't even realize how quickly a loud environment can potentially damage our hearing. Sound is measured in decibels. Anything over 60, such as a normal conversation, is considered very loud and potentially damaging. A vacuum cleaner, hair dryer, or blender fall in that category. Over 120 decibels is painful. That includes rock concerts or airplanes. Uh, if you're in an environment where you have to raise your voice to hear the other person you're with, that environment is, is, is potentially damaging. It's too loud. But the permanent damage is preventable, turning down music, avoiding loud environments, or simply using earplugs. For the last 10 years, John has struggled to hear. You become very focused if you have a hearing loss on trying to listen, and you tense up, which I didn't realize I was doing until I got the hearing aids, and I just relaxed. These barely visible, state-of-the-art digital hearing aids have opened up John's world. An audiologist calibrates the aids to John's specific hearing problems, and with a remote control, he can adjust them at any time. They also log how often John wears them and the kind of noises in his environment. You can see he's in moderate noise, noisy public places. John has experienced incredible improvement in less than a month. After the first week, I thought, eh, I don't know if it's worth it. After the second week, uh, you, you couldn't get them out of my, my ears. So. Well, John's hearing aids cost $6,700, and insurance does pay a portion of that cost. You can damage your hearing with a single exposure to painful levels of noise, as well as continuous low levels. Marianne says if you listen to your iPod a lot, like I do, do it at a very low level. Now, you can help bring awareness to hearing loss at Saturday's Walk for Hearing at Carillon Park. For